Hi, I'm David Ezekiel, Transitional Pastor for the First Federated Church of Peoria. Welcome to our Midweek Moment. There seems to be a lot of anger in America. However, psychologists tell us that it is not a naturally occurring phenomenon. It's important to remember this in an age when we have an abundance of anger everywhere. So many people are angry about so many things and at so many people. Think about it. Anger has not only become tolerated, it has become expected, perhaps even respected. Some anger seems well-deserved. We call it righteous anger. Confronted with injustice, genocide, dehumanization, oppression, the list goes on and on. We have every right to be angry. And this is true. We should be angry and horrified. Some people are motivated by anger. Their sense of outrage seems to energize them and propels them to join ever more causes. But nevertheless, just how far can anger carry us? Moreover, just where do we end up? Anger is a primary cause of burnout and depression. It doesn't give us energy. It eats away at us and makes us sick. There's no nourishment coming into our bodies, such as is so readily available when we feel peaceful, centered, and generous. Anger also clouds our perception. We can see victims, enemies, immoral acts from far off. But what are we missing with our telescopic rage? Anger gives the illusion of clarity. A certain strength arises when we have an opinion and we know where we stand. But the difference between cl the clarity we believe we have when angry and the clarity that results from actually seeing clearly is that aggression has its own narrow logic, which does not take into account the deeper level of causes and conditions that surround each situation. Anger only serves to separate us from solutions to the problems that make us angry. We can't see the people we need to involve and the information we need to know if we are to resolve any of these terrible situations. There's no such thing as righteous anger, though. For anger in any form only serves to make us blind. I'm David Ezekiel. Thank you for sharing this midweek moment with me.